Good morning, Ro. I want you to know that today is Monday. It may be raining outside, but today, make it great. You set the tone for your day. You set the atmosphere for your day. When you get up out of that bed and your two feet hit the floor, no matter if you're having a bad day, no matter if you're having a cranky day, you set the atmosphere for your day. Just get up and say, God, I thank you for a new day. God, I thank you that this day is going to be, it's going to line up with the word of God. I thank you for new graces and mercies. I thank you. Like, you have to set the tone for your day. You know, like a lot of people, they ask me, Jay, you always smiling when I see you. Jay, you always so positive. Jay, you always uplift us. Like, do you ever have a bad day? Yes, I do. But at the same time, I have to get my feelings and my emotions in check. I too have feelings too, but I'm just not in them. You know? You know what I'm saying? You can't be in your feelings. If you get stuck in your feelings, you allow the enemy to come in and manipulate your mind. And then your day is all crushed and it's all crazy. And you don't want that. You want to have a great day. Like I start off every morning before I even touch this phone. I get up. I open my eyes. I thank God for just waking me up. You know, say a little short prayer to him. I get up. I make my bed up. And do I, while I'm making my bed up, my mind is meditating on Christ. And then I go about my day. And I'm still praying as well. And then when I leave the house, I have already set my day. You know, so y'all just got to, we, we, as people, man, we got to learn to just, we got to really learn to just set the tone for our day. And we got to learn to just encourage one another instead of killing one another, instead of beefing with one another, instead of posting all these crazy videos on Facebook about fighting. And then you got people that are beefing with the same race, white people and white people, black people and black people. Like we're really, we're the ones really What's the word I'm looking for? We're really the um, guilty ones of it. Like, black on black crime. Like, I can go on and on and on about that. But we got to start loving each other. Because the Bible says, love covers a multitude of sins. So, like I said, I just want to encourage someone, man. You may seem like, it may seem like in your life, like you're going through hell and high water. But just remember, someone else got it worse off than you. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody went to sleep. And woke up and they lost a loved one. Someone lost their job. You got a job. Someone had to walk to school in the rain. You got a vehicle. So instead of complaining, man, y'all, we got to be thankful. Be thankful for the things that God has done for us. Be thankful for the, th the things that God has blessed us with. Be grateful. Learn to be grateful and learn to be thankful. And that'll take you a long way in life, man. Like the stuff I've been through, nobody but God. That's why I give him the glory, you know. And some stuff you just got to... You got to take the good with the bad. For real, man. Because God is soon to come back. And my prayer is that everyone's life be in order. So we all can be in heaven. But then you got people that don't believe in Christ. Hey, it's just, it is what it is, man. You know, but like the Bible says as well, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. So I pray that y'all have a blessed and successful week. I pray that God favors upon your life. I pray that, you know, that God would just show himself strong and mighty in your lives. I pray that if you don't know him, that you get to know him. Because my prayer is for everyone to go to heaven. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all. And take care.